I just got back from the Alamo Draft House, and what I saw there was something very, very special, and that is the Wild Robot. I've been hearing nothing but brilliant, brilliant, brilliant things about this movie across Twitter and the animation community. So, naturally, I wanted to go see it, hearing all this praise. And, yes, it is absolutely wonderful, absolutely heartfelt, and one of the best of the whole year. Like, we're talking, like, Dune Part 2 praise right here. Like, th those movies are on the same level. Like... <laughs> Like, first off, like, now, knowing DreamWorks, like, they also love putting in, like, celebrities, but these ones, like, feel like just, like, natural kind of inclusions. They're not here just to get people's butts and seats. Like, this is just, a, like, a really nice cast. Like, Lupita Nyanka, Kit Connor, Bill Nye, Mark Hamill, Ving Reams, Catherine O'Hara, just, like, so much talent on here. It's this is like one of DreamWorks' best casts, and they all just give off such incredible performances. Like it took me halfway through to realize that Kit Connor was in this. I was like, oh, oh man, and he just does such a brilliant job. Like, like during those emotional moments, you really feel that. Like he's not phoning it in or anything. He really just, like, he genuinely just feels so sad and broken. Kit Connor is just, mm, I really gotta see Heartstoppers. <laughs> Lupita Nyanka is also just really incredible as Roz. Like, her development is also just, like, such a real standout of the whole movie. <laughs> Pedro Pascal, oh yeah, I forgot, Pedro Pascal was also in this. He was also really good as the fox. <laughs> the animation. Oh my fucking god. I, I All right, you already know I'm going to just absolutely gush about how gorgeous the animation is. Like the animation here is some of Dreamworks's best ever. This really just feels like a book or like a book that we're reading. Everything is just so beautifully painted. Like the sky is in the back the skies in the backdrop, the sunsets, like, when the, the flock is flying. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm just, I had a huge smile on my grin, along with many other moments, with the, with the autumn leaves flying right next to Roz. I could go, like, I, I feel like I could do a whole hour-long video talking about why The Wild Robot is such a gorgeous-looking movie. I, I, I feel like I could do that. <laughs> and yeah like I said the emotional moments also are just so perfect like they really tug at your heartstring and it's also just like a really nice story w one about like kind of like feelings and like well if you've seen the movie you already know I'm I'm still like a bit it's like of a noob on analyzing themes and stuff, but they were handled really beautifully here. So if you have not already, if you can't tell, I absolutely adore The Wild Robot, one of the best movies of the whole year, and you need to go see it. See this beautiful work of art in theaters. Like, everyone just poured their heart, soul, talent, every single thing into this whole movie and it is absolutely worth it. Now, something else to know. This is going to be the last movie that DreamWorks will be making in-house. So after this, everything is going to be outsourced. Dogman, uh, Bad Guys 2, Shrek 4. So this film is kind of like the end of an era. And honestly, if DreamWorks, if this was like if DreamWorks was like shut down and this was their last movie, I think this would be like the best serious finale for DreamWorks.